the ability to tell a powerful story is an incredible leadership skill. Now that it's this close to Halloween, I challenge you to have a little fun and work on a great ghost story to scare the pants off of your audience at your next bonfire or spooky party. So tonight, I'm going to put my own spin on Reddit user Saint Entropy story, Grandma Always Left the Light On. I hope it's dark when you're watching. Grandma always left her light on. It was this old lamp that she was very obsessive about. I still remember when I was 13 years old, watching her change it every week like clockwork. When the sun got to its highest point in the day, she would quickly, quickly change it as fast as she could. I was fascinated by this. And every time I asked her about it, she would just rub my head and smile and change the subject. But curiosity eventually got the best of me. While she was getting some cookies, I walked over and tiptoed. Should I do it? And I did it. Click! I turned the light off. At that point in time, I heard her scream and dropped the plate of cookies. And she quickly ran over to that light and turned it on as fast as she possibly could. I was stunned. She looked right at me and just slapped me across the face. I had no idea what to do. She was the sweetest lady. At that point in time, she just grabbed me and started crying and sobbing into my shoulder. When she finally stopped, she explained to me that that was a ghost light. That they discovered a long time ago when they moved into the house that there were spirits there. Once they put the light there and kept it on, the spirits never bothered them. So that is why she always kept it on. I just thought she was crazy. The years went by and we never talked about that incident ever again. Eventually she did pass on and I was her only living relative at the time. And I inherited her house, her things, and her land. When I walked into the house creak, for the first time in 10 years, it looked exactly the same from when I was 13 fake plants, little decorations, ornamentals, some pictures. Nothing looked like it had been moved and the lamp was still on. Now I know that what she told me that uh, it had to stay on. But I thought, Grandma, you passed on enough with this silly superstition and I turned it off. Click, nothing happened. Later, I went to bed, exhausted from cleaning up all the things in the house. And there, around one or two in the morning, I began to hear a scratching. And then it would stop, and then I'd hear it again. And it would just keep going on and on. And I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to stop this. Was it rats? What was going on? So I threw the covers off me and I walked down the stairs and walked into the living room, tiptoed. And there, in the pale moonlight, I saw an old woman in the corner of the room. Her gaunt body through her nightgown just looked like a skeleton, just there in the corner, just scratching and scratching at something. I wondered who her caretaker was if I was going to have to call for help and I didn't have my cell phone on me. It was upstairs on the dresser. And I walked over and put my hand on her shoulder about to say, are you okay? And as I put it down, it felt cold like bones. And her head turned to me and with these eyes like black circles stared at me and her mouth hung open like it was screaming and she was completely silent and then let out a loud <laughs> at that point in time I realized when I looked at her figure that was grandma that was grandma and, and I fell back over and I ran over to the light and I turned it back on click and she was gone and I finally realized that grandma wasn't crazy and I always, every week, make sure to 
change the light bulb at the brightest part of the day. Ha, ha, ha.